Well, on a day when President Biden is tackling one of his biggest weaknesses, a battle over muzzling former President Trump in the middle of his presidential campaign is playing out in federal court. Fox News correspondent Madeline Rivera reports. This is our day. A big day at the White House with dual celebrations. The National Turkey presentation and pardon marks the unofficial start of the holiday season. Turkey's Liberty and Bell weren't the only celebrants. Monday was also the president's birthday. Oh, it's difficult turning 60. <laughs> difficult. <laughs> but the issue is no laughing matter. At 81, he has set a new record as the oldest sitting president in American history. Although the White House is trying to spin his advanced age as an asset. It's just about the president's experience. It has become one of his greatest political liabilities. A New York Times Siena College poll shows 71% of voters in battleground states believe he's too old to be an effective president. In the last couple of weeks, we have seen this incredible sort of turn, uh, you know, at, at the highest levels among Democrats and the media uh, starting to raise the alarm that they they believe they have a real problem. Republican presidential frontrunner, former President Trump, who isn't far behind the president at 77 years old, is dealing with his own set of problems. His defense team argues a limited gag order imposed by a federal judge in his election interference case violates his First Amendment rights. The order is unprecedented and it sets a terrible precedent. While the three-judge panel seems skeptical of the arguments presented by Trump's attorneys, they also appear willing to narrow the restrictions against the former president. In Washington, Mather Rivera, Fox 26 News.